everyone, I'm going to walk you through a video of how I do my spray paint art. Like I said, I've only been doing this for a little over a month now. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. People seem pretty receptive to what I'm doing. And I'm just going to show you the few things that I use to do a planet. All right, first thing and most important for me is a respirator because I do this in the basement where I have an exhaust fan blowing out, but there's still a lot of paint fumes and paint. And after four weeks, look how that has turned dark. That's all the stuff that's not going into my lungs. So for $35, that's probably the most expensive piece that you're going to use. Um, I get my paper uh, mini poster boards. You get this from Walmart. You get 12 mini poster boards. They're 11 by 12. And uh, you pick these up for about $3.50. The other thing you need is bowls, the big assortment of bowls. All right, so I picked these up at the dollar store, well, the dollar 25 store. And you just put a little piece of uh, painter's tape, tape it down, and then after it gets so much paint on there, it's not coming off. So just different sizes. This was from a Chinese restaurant, just a takeout bowl. That was, I think, the first one I used, and I found these bowls at the, uh, the uh, dollar store. And then I got another one. This was a pack of three for $1.25. These are smaller planets. You can lose, use the lids of your spray paint cans and use the caps of your spray paint cans. All different kinds of things here. Um, this is from a can of coffee, and I don't know where I got this. This is from a lid from a jar or something like that, but it was a good size, so I figured I'd use it. So we're not going to use any of these today. We're only going to use one today. We're going to use the big bowl, and let's take out the paper. And there's two sides here, and this is my last piece, so it better work. I'll put that up over there. Uh, paper, you got the matte side, and you've got the glossy side. Now this is a thin poster board. You should be using a heavyweight poster board. Haven't found it in this size, but I did find it in the 28 by 22. You can cut them down. You can get four of these sheets out of there if you want. So I'll just put that down right there. Um, the paints that I'm going to use, we've got uh, black gloss. I always use gloss. Uh, this is Rust-Oleum. You can buy store brand if you can find the gloss. Uh, we got red, we got white, and we got our clear coat. That's to finalize the painting and also clear coat. Uh, really, if you make a mistake or something like that, or you need to re-wet your painting, just put some of this on. It brings up all the colors in that. And um, hopefully we don't need to use that too much today, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so let's get started. First thing you wanna do is get your bowl, put it down. And then since I'm in the basement, I gotta put on the respirator because I don't want to have all the stuff in my lungs. It might sound like Darth Vader. Hopefully we get through everything. Uh, the other thing that I use, I should have told you about this, is for texture to be you're going to texture your planet. You can use paper, just crumple it up. Plastic bags work really well. They, they don't stick to the uh, to the painting like paper can sometimes. If the painting's too dry, you're going to pull it up and might get crunchy paper on there. Something else I've been experimenting with is bubble wrap. I uh, did a painting with bubble wrap on it, looked really cool, so I'm gonna try that. And also, hair dryer 999 helps speed up the process a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is outline the planet. So I'm gonna use a different color. Usually outline in black, but since it's gonna be mostly black and red, I just wanna make sure that I got the planet going in the right spot. So we'll just take a little bit of yellow, we'll highlight, Pull up the bowl, and bam, that's where our planet's going to be. Looks like you got a little bit of dust in there. That's all right. We'll add texture to it. Texture is good. Um, you want to go lighter to darker with colors. So uh, we got a white base, but it's going to be a black and red planet. So I'm going to do, I tried black before on the base and then red. The black seems to absorb the red and starts to overtake it. I want it to be a little bit more red than black. I just want kind of black highlights in it. So we're going to start it off with red. Now the red, the white might come through the red. So this is an experiment. If we mess up, we redo it. It's not a problem. Put some red down here. I'm going to cover it really good in red. And I can still see where my planet outline is. I know it's pretty much dead center when I did it. Uh, we'll let this dry just a little bit. So we don't want to get the, uh, too much light coming through. 
This is from the ominous black and red planet. Let's get some black on there. Not too, too much. More black towards the bottom side than the top. We can throw some more red in there. I think we'll need to get a little bit more red. Okay, so now we're going to take our plastic bag. Get some good lines in there. You can put your hand inside and do it. Or you can just take the whole bag, put it down. You can get four uses out of a bag as long as you flip it inside and out. So let's just do it like this. Let's put it down. And let's just make some texture in our planet. Pull it off. There we go. Okay, I kind of like that because the white didn't come through. We got a lot of red. We got some black highlights in there. That looks really cool. And that's what our bag looks like when we're done. So we're just going to leave this off to the side. And we can reuse it two more times. Save the environment as much as we possibly can. So what we want to do now is we want to highlight it. We want to do a dark side and where our light source is going to be or supposed to be. I'm not going to paint a light source in here, but we're going to highlight that with white. Now, last two times I had problems with the white. It kind of spotted. I got another can. Oh, it looks like Wilson from uh, Castaway. So we're going to do just like little circles back here. And I'm not going to hold it straight down. I'm going to hold it off to an angle. So it's going to get a little bit more black in here. It looks like the, the black is starting to be the uh, darkness is going to start to overtake the planet. So we just want to do smiley faces. Smiley faces back and forth. Right like that. Maybe a little bit more on the top. There we go. Looks good. Now we want to do the white on our light source side. And I hope this doesn't doesn't speckle out. I mean, the, the nozzle's clear. Sometimes your nozzle gets a little uh, chunky. Maybe if I come down on it just a little bit, a little bit straighter, it won't. There we go. Okay. So that actually is coming out better. Put our white source there. Light side of the planet, dark side of the planet. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry a little bit. I'm going to keep the video running, but I'm going to edit it. I'm going to speed it up where the hair dryer you can also speed it up by putting some clear coat on it. I think that's what I'll do. Put a little clear coat. Clear coat is faster drying. And that might help us out just a little bit. All right, so let's get that on there like that. Put the hair dryer. Let it dry. Let me turn this off. You want it completely dry when you put your bowl back on because if, you don't, if it's not dry, you're going to pull it up and you're going to get like a white ring around the dark side or a white ring around the white side and you really don't want that. Okay, and we are dry. Time to put the bowl on top and get some of that white in there. We want to get some of that dark in there, shading. That looks about right. Okay, you can weight it down so you don't get any spray coming over. These work good. Don't even use them anymore. No need to use them. Can't even work on a car anymore. All right. So we're going to cover it all in black. Black all around. Black in there. All in. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Black all around. I'm done. Looking good. You can add stars now, but I don't want to add stars. I want to add some streaks. I'm going to do a red streak coming through and then highlight it with some white. Then we'll get some stars on there. So let's do it with the red. Running perfectly low. Put it on the list for tomorrow. Need some red. Tell me why I didn't pick it up last time. I picked up another yellow and I really didn't need it. Maybe my list was inaccurate. So let's do red streak through the middle. Like so. Nice red streak. I'm probably going to have to hit the red again, which is fine. Then we're going to do some white on the outside. Nice little white streak on either side. We'll do red on either side. There we go. See how we're going to need some more red in there? So it's good because now the red is going to blend in with the white a little bit more. Become a little bit more predominant. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. It's space. Nothing is perfect. Throw a little bit more white in there. Get that white to go over that red a little bit. There we go. I think that looks pretty darn good right there. 
Um, we've got a lot of black down here, which is fine, up there. Now there's two ways to do stars. You can either flick them out in white, or as I saw one shirt doing it, you can poop them out. And it takes a little bit of hand control to get, to get it to poop out. So what you want to do is you want to spray some on your finger. See if you can see it over here. Not trying to get any on there. Flick off excess and then just start flicking on some stars. This, I found that this technique, it works when you start getting these lines of stars. The other way to do it is to get the right pressure on your pan and then the stars will poop out. You just got to get the right pressure. You don't want too much, you don't want too little. You just want to get it to go like this. Just like this. See how the stars come out? I think this is a much better technique. You don't start getting a lot of, uh, you know, everything going in the same direction. It takes a little bit of practice, but once, it, once you get it down, it looks pretty good. All right. This painting's for Chuck Dupree, Black and Red Planet. Chuck, the reveal. There we go. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. It came out really good. Got a little bit of white up here, but there are ways to touch up the white, and I can show you how to do it. I think it's because we had the white top there, and it came over. So this will be easy because we already have white up there. We can just hit it with some white gloss up top. Just really light over there. Get that line out of there. Yeah, let's get that line out. That's our light source, and then when this dries, we'll go over, we'll go over the top of it one more time with some black. We we'll get some more black up here. We'll get some more white up there. We're gonna let that dry. We pause the video. See, everybody makes mistakes. Like I said, I'm not a professional. Everybody makes mistakes. Okay, so at first you don't succeed. You try, try again. That's a beautiful thing about paint. You can keep redoing it, redoing it, redoing it. So what we want to do is we want to come over just a little bit more. Because we've got a little bit of a black ring there. Put that down there like so. Put a weight on top. And we'll just redo the background one more time. We'll get some black going up here. Get some black up there. We want to go with some more red through the middle again. Let's do some red through the middle. Okay. And then we'll do some white up at the top. There we go. There we go. And back to where it was. We got the black up there. We got the white. We got the red streak going through. Let's get and let's try and pick out some stars again. Let's go with the clean that has been kind of spitting on me. You see it's spitting. It's a little clogged. Let's get some stars in here again, and we'll do the second and hopefully the final reveal. But this is what happens. I'm telling you, it just, it happens. I'm going to get, you know what, I'm going to get some more white in there, because I see a little bit of a black ring in there, so I want to get that out of there. All right, got to get the right pressure going. And this takes, this takes practice, because, you know, you can get it just right. And then you go too far, and then you get the string. So you don't want the string, you want to try to keep it like that. There we go. Looks much better. All right, reveal, part two. Let's see if it works. It better work, because this is my last piece of paper until tomorrow. There we go. Got a little bit of a line. Not too bad. Not too upset about it. Got some nice star patterns going on. Um, there are ways of getting rid of that line. I am not... <laughs> I'm not up for that yet. I can give it a try. It's that or I'm going to ruin the entire painting. What you can do is just curve your piece of paper, spray some white onto it. Let's give it a shot. Why not? If it doesn't work, I shoot another video tomorrow. Not a big deal. Let's see what we can do. You can curve. You want to curve it just so. And you want to spray onto the paper. And then you can get rid of those lines. Look, it's working. This is the first time I'm doing it and it's actually working. Now I know that the paint can gob up at the bottom and you can get a nice blob there. So you want to wipe that off. Try it over here. 
I'm handshaking a little bit because I'm nervous about doing this. I've seen other people do it and they do it right the first time. Me, it took me a while to learn this. And everything takes practice, so if you screw up, don't worry about it. It's all part of lines. Spray up there. There we go. You got the line out. I'm happy with it. Let's go. Let's get some clear coat on this. Let's get this sent away to Chuck the Tree. Let's clear coat it. Put a little initials there on the bottom. Now you can see that I did get a little bit, a couple of spots in there. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like I said, I'm just starting out. I'm just learning. Let's get the pen. Put a little signature down here. Get that M a little bit better. All right. There we go. Get that handy dandy little blade. Let's pull it up from this side. Get that under there. Get that pulled up. Other than a couple of white dots in the center, I think it came out pretty good. But you know what? It's practice and it takes time. It takes time. I might shoot another video tomorrow and maybe update it. But uh, right now, it's it's a learn and go process. So there you go, Chuck. I hope you like it. And uh, I might do another one tomorrow. We'll see how this video turns out. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. And uh, if you like it, give me a like. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Used to be a baseball card channel. It still is a baseball card channel, but I'm getting into a little bit of artwork right now. And uh, hope you enjoy. All right, everybody. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.